All right, so in the last video, we finished up with this P block. We've got three blocks left, and they're relatively easy. So this shouldn't take very much longer, okay? So like before, we're going to go to File, click New. Standard IPT is already selected because we've been using that for the last four drawings. We'll hit Create. We're going to go back to Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to click the XY plane again, and this one is going to be our V block. So we're going to go to the line tool, and for this particular one, we're going to go up, over, there we go, down, and back to our starting point. And then we'll dimension again one unit tall, 0.5. But this is going to be two units wide, okay, so one inch wide. Now we're going to finish our sketch, we're going to extrude, flip our extrusion, and now this will only be one unit deep, okay, I'm going to hit OK. Now we're going to click on the corner of the cube over here so we can see the back side, this side, and there we're going to start another 2D sketch. Like before, we're going to project the geometry. Okay, it'll make this easier for us to draw our line and make sure that it connects with these edges. Put in our dimension from this right side to our line. And that will be 0.5 inches tall. Uh, excuse me, 0.5 inches wide. We'll finish our sketch. We'll extrude. We're going to click that piece. And again, it's only going to be one unit deep. We hit OK. Again, if you click the house piece, it should match up with the drawings that we have. OK. We're going to go to File and Save. And this block will be V. Click save, two to go. So file, new. Sorry about that phone call, sorry for the interruption, but we are going to be starting with the T block. So again, standard dot IPT, we hit create, back to start 2D sketch, back to our XY plane. That should be pretty old hat by now. Now we're gonna go back to our line tool like we did before. And again, to make this one just go a little bit faster, a little bit easier, we're going to start at our origin point. All right, again, sorry for the interruption. Anyways, back to what we were doing. We started at our origin point, and what we're going to do is draw a line up. Over here to the right, and we're going to go up. Over to the right. Down. Over to the right down and connect okay now from here we'll add dimensions works out best if we do the longest dimensions first so that means this bottom line this will be three units long which means that it's 1.5 inches long uh, yes 1.5 inches long Click front here our height will also be 0.5 that's already in at 0.5. Our distance here will be 0.5. Our distance here will be 0.5. And finally, the height of this line will be 0.5. Okay, that's it. That's the T block. So we'll finish the sketch. We're going to extrude, send it back, and this is only one unit thick so 0.5 inches and okay and there's our T block so file save T hit save and the last block will be the Z block so you know the drill standard IPT hit create Start 2D sketch, 
xy plane. Last thing to draw here will be the block that kind of looks like a z. So again, starting at our origin point, go up, over to the right, up, over to the right, down, over to the left, down, and connect back to our origin point. Now, dimensions, we'll dimension the bottom line. That's going to be two units, so one inch. Our top line is going to be also one inch. Okay. This line will be 0.5 inches. This line will be 0.5 inches. And now we just need to tell it that this is 0.5. And then that's already at 0.5 as well. Everything is black with my line, so everything is locked in. I can finish the sketch. Extrude the block. Send it back. Change my thickness to 0.5 because it's only one unit thick and hit OK. File, save, this will be the Z block. And now we have all the pieces we need to create a Selma cube. When I come back, I'll show you how we turn these into drawings that we can use for our 3D printer. Thanks folks.